My name is Lamont King, and I also, uh, <laughs> I, I talk a lot about race. I talk a lot about, because I'm a racist. I'm self-proclaimed. Uh, it's not a bad thing. I study race, you know, like a scientist. <laughs> I take it the wrong way. I study race. And I just, I watch people. I watch people how they do things. And, you know, Latinos. Any Latinos in here? Any Latinos? Yeah. Yeah. You got, I'm a big fan of you guys. I can't uh, speak or read Mexican, but um, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. Because when my old neighborhood, I used to live in LA, in my old neighborhood, the, the Burger, King, <coughs> Burger King menu was in all Spanish. And I was like, damn it. You know, I really used to be more sensitive. I should have learned Spanish when I had the chance. But I did. So I'm in there trying to order my food in my best Mexican accent, rolling my arms and everything. I had the book, I'm in line. I'm like, okay, is it my turn? Is it my turn? Okay, all right, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Can I get a Whopper Junior? <laughs> e Coca Cola. E French fries. E chocolate chop, chocolate chop. That's a chocolate shake, that's a chocolate shake. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get my life together, I'm trying to get my life together. You can tell there's a lot wrong with Lamont King. <laughs> I drive a small car, I drive a Honda Civic. You know, I'm, I'm not mad at that, I'm a big dude in a small car. I'm not really mad about the car, because I can park anywhere, gas is good, you know what I'm saying? I got a bitch horn on a Honda Civic car. It's got a really bitch horn. I can't drive as aggressively as I would like with that horn on my car. I got drove off the road the other day, I'm driving, and the guy's over here, he's on his phone, he drove me off the road, and you know, I had to catch up to him and put on a show. It was showtime. I had to let him know. So I drive up and I'm mashing, mashing the horn, I'm talking to him, you see me over here, you see I will kill you, I ain't kill you. I was reaching for the glove compartment, I got the toys, I got weapons, you see me, I'm mashing the horn. I'm sure all he heard was me, 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 me. being assaulted by the road runner? What is it? <laughs> yeah, it makes my breath so bad. It's like, man, did your lung collapse? Or did your liver fail? Have you been drinking Coca-Cola all day? Yeah, it makes my breath so bad when they start talking to you. You just want to give them directions. <laughs> they run up to you, hey, what you have, Sean? You're like, hey, look at uh, partner. You want to go make a left? Make two more laughs, hang a third laugh, and you're gonna see a brick wall run into that little with your mouth open and self-death chew on bricks, but get out of here. Somebody breath so bad when they walk up on you and start talking, you start speaking in languages you ain't never learned before. They come up to you like, hey, what's up? You're like, no, no, senor, no. No, senor, no. No, your mouth is the bad the breath, no. How do you mouse? Your mouse, no. Somebody breath so bad they roll up on you start talking with a British accent. Hey, what's up? Oh, great Scott! What the devil is in your mouth? This wretched and sour rubbish spewing from your vocal hole. Silence! Seize him! God save the Queen! I said there was one dude, every time he talked, a little African man, like, jumped out on his tongue <laughs> and started chastising him. <laughs> he was like, hey, little African man, I told you not to talk. <laughs> you are talking again. It smells as though something had crawled inside your mouth and died. <laughs> it is dead. Why are you talking and it is dead? Drake got the coldest ad-libs in the game. Got the coldest ad-libs. He say the same four things between his verses. Oh, wait, oh, hold up, damn, yeah, oh, wait, oh, wait, hold up, damn, oh, wait, oh, hold up, damn, oh, wait, hold up, damn, oh, wait, hold up, damn. Two years after the fact, I still cannot believe Michael Jackson is dead. I cannot believe it. I don't care what y'all say. Sat through the trial. I still cannot believe it. I'm still stuck on the day of the funeral. I remember the funeral like it was yesterday. Y'all remember the funeral? Remember when they brought the casket in? Big shiny metal gold thing of a jig and everything. I was looking at it. I got a weird mind, so my mind always goes to a weird place. When I saw the casket come in, I was thinking about, you ever went to a nice hotel and the next morning you come down and you get breakfast and you open the thing like this and you go right here? 
Oh, okay, they got egg whites over here. Oh, let me see, they got waffles. Oh, they got waffles. Ah, with the sausage. You go to the sausage. They wheeled the casket in. I'm like, oh, they serving turkey bacon at the funeral? What? Oh, did y'all hear about the mine collapse? You heard about the mine collapse, right? It was not too long ago. And like 60 miners died down in, uh, in like Argentina or something. 60 miners died. You saw this, right? It was terrible. A lot of celebrities came out and was going to donate money. You know, Sylvester Sloan, actors, singers, R. Kelly. Uh, but yesterday, R. Kelly's publicist came out and said, well, Mr. Kelly wants his money back because he didn't know that they were minors. He thought that they were minors. <laughs> I watch too much TV, man. I watch some news. <laughs> Casey Anthony, oh my God. Clap it up for Casey Anthony. <laughs> really? No, really? <laughs> Baby killer's in the house, okay. Uh, she got the devil on speed now, don't she? How did she beat that case? And then uh, the guy Larry Flint from Hustler came out, offered her half a million to show her rack. You didn't know this? Half a million to show her rack in the magazine, the Post New. He said she had a killer body. <laughs> I'm trying to stay with me. This is what I do. This is what I do. I don't slow up for no one. I don't slow. I got some good news, though. I got some good news. I just saved a shitload of money on car insurance by letting my policy run out. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You don't really need car insurance. I saved a couple hundred dollars a month. I'm trying to tell you. I'm riding dirty. Riding dirty. Y'all got Geico on the West Coast? They got Geico? Yeah, we got let go. That's what my insurance. The bill comes, I just let it go. This economy is just terrible. I don't know how y'all doing it. Gas is higher than Charlie Sheen out here. I'm like, how do they do it? How do they do it? Just losing. This is what I'm doing out here. I'm losing. People doing all different types of things. This economy is forcing people to work in different ways. And I drove past a yard sale, and they were selling parts of the yard. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now, right they had a gay hurricane y'all remember hurricane Fabian I remember mean, product of the 80s man when I was growing up you watch the news they had hurricanes they had hurricanes like Bruce 
and Hugo, Hurricane Chuck. And they show on the news, right, the hurricane footage. Here's Hurricane Hugo tearing up the East Coast. Rah! Rah! Watch the news the other day, they had Hurricane Fabian. They showed the footage, it was like this. Here's Hurricane Fabian battering the Carolinas. Woo! Woo! I'm blowing! I'm a hurricane! Woo! Lamont, I'm a pretty versatile comic, so this time I'm going to start out with some impressions. <clears throat> this is uh, an impression of a small boy trying to fend off a uh, pedophile. <laughs> next one I'm going to do is a uh, <laughs> small retarded boy trying to fend off a pedophile. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> this, this last impression I'm going to do is a, uh, this is one of my favorites. Um, it's a small homosexual retarded boy who's trying to fend off a pedophile. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Why is rap so retarded though, right? It's retarded, man. I don't, I'm gonna I'm share a little bit too loud. I'm gonna share a little bit about myself, man. In high school, I used to work with the, with the, uh, with the special, the specials. I used to work with the specials, and it's three types of specials. And I swear when I listen to the radio, I hear all three of them. I'm gonna tell you, I remember it was Marvin, Craig, and Tommy, right? Marvin was the type of special where, you have to know the specials, when y'all remember middle school and high school, their class was like two classes down from y'all. Marvin was the type of special where he just, he holler it out. He just holler it out. It didn't matter what it was, he just holler. I swear I heard Marvin on the radio the other day. Yeah! Oh, they do it. I am fluent. Go till it news. Hey! Oh, they do it. I said, Marvin is on the radio. Then the other kind is when they sing everything they say. Craig, Craig sang everything he's, I swear I was listening to the radio and I heard Craig. I swear. Turn the radio. All the way, turn up. All the way, turn up. DJ, turn it up. Please don't turn me down. Hey, this is your song. Craig is on the radio? Craig got a record deal? And then it's the third kind. You would special where they talk about everything that they doing. They telling you everything that they doing. I swear I heard Tommy on the radio. This right here is my sweat. This right here is my pretty point blank. Pretty point blank. Pretty point. This right here is my. This is mine. This is my swag. It's mine. You can't have my swag. <laughs>